The reef itself is looking good. And I'm going to go ahead and do a phosphate test to see where the levels are after yesterday's phosphate RX dosing. So there's a hint of blue, but the video makes it look darker blue than what it really is. And according to the new test kit, instead of 30 seconds, it needs to mix for two minutes. So I put on the card, it looks darker. If I lift it up a little bit, it's closer to that 0 0.10. Clearly it's not zero, but it's much better than it was two days ago. I want to do a quick update on the Gorgonian that was added to Kate's Reef, and you can see it's fluffed up and looking good. Of course, it's tan or brown in a tank that's tan or brown. I really need to get some other colors in this tank to make it pop a little bit more. Maybe some new zoanthids. I also need to get a water change done, but my vat was uh, diluted, so I had to weigh out how much salt I would need to add, and I did just that. Now that the salt's been added to the container, I need to turn up that Vectra pump over there. My heater's already plugged in and I verified that the heaters are submerged. I went ahead and I stuck my head up there and looked straight down and I had the heater element inside the water. So I don't have to worry about those being exposed to air. Turn this up. And then in the morning, I'll go ahead and I will turn that all the way back down or maybe I'll even turn it off and I'll unplug the heaters. So that way I know that the tank has the right temperature and salinity my water change on Caitlin's Reef tomorrow.